Here's another clean example of a pump and dump. We could break this down on the one minute time frame. You could scroll out on the chart. Every one candle you see on this chart is one minute of trading in the stock market. Yesterday, March 24th, it was a Thursday. You can see there was no volume at all. Nobody's interested in this stock. Nobody. There's not even no price action really going on. Just before the market closes, and that's that gray shaded area you're seeing here on my chart. This is after hours trading. This is what divides the trading days. So you got the end of the trading day right here on Thursday. You notice how the stock's going all sideways. There's nothing going on. So there's activity right here. And you even got a little spike in volume there. See that when you look closely? We could zoom in a little bit more on that. Let's, let's really break it down. We'll zoom in on that right there. So there's a lot of volume here, 30,000, 30,000, 20,000, 36,000, 14,000, 33,000. There's a lot of volume going on here and prices ripped from four up here to $5 and they naturally fade down. This is how your pump and dumps work. The guru picked up on this stock and you look at the daily chart this was a primed candidate for a pump and dump. Look at the daily chart here. Every one candle on a daily chart is one day of trading. When you're looking at candlesticks. Looking at the history of this stock, there's no volume ever really going on with this stock. Look at every day when you scroll over. The most the stock does on average, it does around 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, 24,000. It's not doing much in volume at all. And then you got a, some recent Perkin activity going on here. Scroll back out on this. So the guru loads up the day before right here. Next morning, free market. Let's say the guru has a thousand people in his chat room or watching his streams while he has either a 30 second delay on the feed or if it's real time i don't know but he announces this and puts it on his watch list let's say he trades live with his community every day he announces this stock how it's a low float and it's a candidate he announces it to his community boom most people, they want to be told when to buy and sell stocks. So as he announces this to his community, all that guru has to do is sit on the ass and all of his followers are going to buy up what he's unloading on them. He's literally getting paid from his own community. They're transferring their money into his account. This stock rips right out of the open here. From 450s explodes up to 625 and into a halt. They halt it for 5-6 minutes. They reopen it up here and it peaks out at $7 a share. So when this guru was loading up at $4 up to 5 the next day he made 2 to $3 per share in profit from everything. We don't know how much he bought. If you load up and you're buying... 30,000, 40,000 shares, and you make two to three dollars on that, that's really good money. That's pretty much your whole salary for the year in one trade like that. One trade that's stock spec or stock manipulation at its finest. This is why a lot of gurus like focusing on low float stocks because they're easily manipulated. Whenever you have a low supply of something and you have volume hit that low supply, it's like a lightning bolt and price action gets involved and prices start to skip up and rip up higher. Some examples of some low float stocks. You can have news. Companies come out with news. Volume gets attracted to it. This week, we've seen a lot of good low float runners. So not all low floats are bad. They're not. I love trading low float stocks. We got a stock like ALLG. It's a new IPO. This stock recently ran from $8 all the way up to a high of $24 a share. We zoom in here on the one minute. 
this was its big day right here on Wednesday, right here, right from the open, $9.50, $10. It gears up right here, $9.50, $10, right at 10 a.m., all the way to 11 a.m., right there. In one hour, this stock ran up $15 a share. That's life changing moves right there. In one hour, a stock runs up. $15. You don't hear people on CNBC talk about these types of stocks and we see these stocks run like this every day just about. Every week, every day we see stocks like this run all the time. So while everybody was getting caught up when AMC and GameStop was squeezing, we see this all the time. Some other big runners from this past week just to give you guys more examples. FRGE, this is another new IPO. Its first day here of opening, this stock ran from $11 all the way up to a high of 27 bucks. That's a $16 per share run up. From 9.30 to 11 a.m. it topped out. So an hour and a half it ran up 16 bucks. Another one, LLL. Today, Friday, it had a good run. Here from $3.80, it ran up to almost five bucks. So that's just about a buck fifty run up, buck twenty-five. But when you zoom out, look at this day over here. Let's zoom in on that day. This was back on when was this? Tuesday. Tuesday, this stock opened up at two dollars a share right there. And it ran all the way up to a high of $7. So from 2 to 7, from 9.30, and it topped out at 10 a.m. So in a half hour, this stock ran up $5 a share. Amazing opportunity out here. Amazing. We're not done. We also had a stock PIK. Today, Friday, runs from 4 up to a high of six, four dollars to six dollars, 10 a.m. to 10:35 a.m. So a half hour, this stock ran up two dollars a share. Scroll out on this, you could see there was a lot of history with this stock. We were, it was in play practically all week. Going back to last Friday, this day right here, this stock ran from four dollars a share all the way up to a high of six, pulled back 550. So from four. It ran up to six right there. Pulled back to 550. 550, it ran all the way up to 750. So multiple opportunity on the stock like this running up $2 a share. It's low price, $4, $5. A $5,000 investment buys you a thousand shares. Stock runs up two grand or $2. That's two grand in your pocket. You just made 50% on your money or your investment. That's the type of opportunity the stock market can give you. And I just gave you guys a handful of stocks that had more than two, $5, $10 run-ups in one hour. We see stocks like this run all the time, all the time. That's why you guys should be a part of trading communities be a part of a chat room trading learning 101 discord i have a link down below in the video description every day monday through friday we're in chat calling out all of these hot stock every single day being a part of a community you have multiple eyes in the markets doing the work they're calling out stocks that are popping up it's working together as a team having multiple eyes in the market, spotting opportunity.